It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Miami Dolphins on Monday night. Got an absolutely perfect late autumn night. No better place to be than Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Miami Dolphins. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. At CD, the Dolphins, they've got some high hopes for 2023. They feel like they've got the pieces to make a run. They need a little bit of health, but they think they can be right there in the AFC East. And they'll want every game to be a track meet because speed is their calling card. And if they're able to sprint out there ahead of people and make them chase, they'll be tough to reel in. And meanwhile, the Titans last year, they were one of those strange statistical anomalies, CD. When you look at their defense, they were the best in football, number one overall against the run, but worst in the league, number 32 against the pass. And part of the reason they were number one against the run, the struggles they had slowing people down through the air. So people threw it and threw it and threw it and had great success. And a team that should have been in the playoffs last year somehow managed to miss it. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Now Tua Tungavailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season. He led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from him, it absolutely occurred. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Meanwhile, to his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And Hill is going to have the Dolphins first down as he's up to the 43. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. So, Tua making the completion there. Now, what's different about playing a left-handed quarterback like him? And specifically, I guess, what does this defense need to try and take away? I'll take the first part that you asked about being left-handed. We've got to find out if he can move to his right and still continue to be accurate. So I want to push him in that direction and see if he can get his body squared around and make those throws that he's used to making. The next part is he's a dart thrower. Loves those short to intermediate routes first. Sit on those and make him throw the deep ball. Not that he's not capable, but you want him to prove it to you first. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Here now, second and four. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 24-yard line. 15 yards there on the catch and run. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact, but that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. Now a play fake. Here's Tongue of Iloa. That one complete to Hill. 
So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes. And the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. On play action, here's Tua. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the, right? high that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. So a new face at quarterback for the Titans in 2023. It's the 24-year-old rookie out of Kentucky, Charles, Will Levis. As if this motivated young man needed an extra chip on his shoulder. He certainly got one more when he slipped to the second round of this year's draft. This, after he was discussed, as a possible top five pick. As he likes to tell everyone, I've got a cannon for an arm, and I love to show it off. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Henry again on second down. Derrick Henry and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 25 yards, the pickup there, and also a first down. What I continue to hear from running backs and offensive linemen is how often they're actually getting together to watch film so they can get in sync with each other, understand blocking patterns better, how running back likes to cut, what he wants to do. And boy, it all came together on that one. That's one where they watch it and say, hey, we, we did everything we were supposed to do right there. That looked like the play we drew up yeah, and designed. And then we got to see it unfold in real time. Meanwhile, Levis is that's taken in by Okonkwo. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. Levis to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Barnett came into this game eager to see how they would hold up the man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Field goal would have been a decent length at 55 yards. They keep the kicking unit on the sideline. They're going for it. They'll run. It's Henry. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. 
We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. To his throw is taken in by Waddle. And they'll get to him after a gain of 7 to the 47. Second down and 3. They'll run right side with Mostert. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. This now a third and four. Looking to pass to him. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back, but how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And yeah, the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. A good pick up there, a 22. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Levis from the gun. That's caught Nick Westbrook Akine with it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Here's Levis. Open man, Westbrook Aquino. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Levis to throw once more. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Going to the air, Tugamailoa. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Oh, 
Now a second and ten. Two are going to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Tua sets up to pass it. They complete it to Hill. And they'll get him down two yards shy after a pickup of eight. Fourth and two. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. Tennessee offense set to go again, and we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Now the ball on the 30, here's second and four. They run wide side with Henry. And he is gonna lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two yard loss and it brings up a third down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Levis on third down. And the catch made by Hopkins. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Dolphins ready to take over on offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Tongue of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Into space at the 45 as they finally wrangle them in at the 48. That's good for 28 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. A handoff running left is Mostert. He'll get it up near midfield at a 49 before being taken down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. This is second and eight. In motion, Hill. Second down, here's Mostert again. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. 
He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. I think they tried to fool him on that one. You know, be able to throw the ball to the fullback position. No one was fooled on that play. No, lost yardage. You think they should yank that one from the playbook, at least uh, for the time being? <laughs> I, think you, I think what you do is you take it out and you evaluate it next week in practice. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. As they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now Tua. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. There he goes left side. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 14. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner, and now not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A couple of anxious seconds there. Probably felt like an eternity to him. That ball's tipped up into the end zone. And once it goes up there, you know it could be anybody's football at that point. Pretty lucky that one fell to the ground harmlessly. Here's second and ten. Up the middle they go with Moster. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. And it is caught. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Mostert. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here this close. Sneak it? I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do. Well, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. 
It's Roger McCreary with the pick. And the Titans force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game. And that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul-searching now? I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Levis to throw on first and ten here. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. In motion is Westbrook Aquina. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he stopped immediately there. Tackled by Bradley Chubb, the number five pick in the 2018 draft. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On second down, here's Henry. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Here's third and nine. Levis back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Henry up the middle. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Levis. Well, that's complete to Westbrook Aquino. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Again, it's Henry. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Now a handoff as they run left side. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. A toss left. Henry. And he 
he's able to get this down to the five yard line before he's out of bounds. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. A lot of people call the toss a probing play to see what they can get against the defense to see how they adjust and react. Their probing's working pretty well. That was a very nice run. Third and short, it's Levis. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with Henry. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. There wasn't even thought of a short field goal. There was no hesitation. They were going for it. I think he was thinking ahead a couple plays ago that if he got in this situation, they were definitely going for it. And you're right. It was a confident call and a decisive run to pick it up. Henry is in. Touchdown, Tennessee. You think back to some of the great goal line bruisers of the past, the Earl Campbells, the John Riggins, the Marshawn Lynches. I think you can put Derrick Henry right in that group as he scores there with another patented Derrick Henry run. Nick Folk for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive spans 13 plays, and Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. On play action, here's Tua. incomplete here you still hold your breath a little as a defense when Tua gets out of the pocket you're worried about him scrambling and getting a first down but there he made the wise call if there's nothing downfield just throw it away the offense on third down tonight they've hit it 50 percent three of six to this point this time they face a third and two They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Now that'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a cornerback blitzing in run support and tackling the runner for a loss. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. This will be fielded at the 17. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And it'll be Titan football. Tennessee offense set to go again. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. 
Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. And they'll come up second and seven. Now Levis. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Nick Westbrook Aquino, the intended receiver. And it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Levis now off of play action. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a handoff to Henry. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. 65 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Working from the gun, here's Levis. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. The throw down the field, caught by his running back. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 25 yards that time. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. First and 10, it's Levis. He's got Derrick Henry again, back-to-back -back catches. Then he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep and you catch him close to the spot. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now again, it's Levis looking to throw it. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive, stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. 
And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. Well, clearly that was a design play. I just don't know that it was the right design. Hey, you're older to have him pick it up and kind of be the power guy trying to run through the middle. Everything has to go right for that to work. You mean you weren't relying on just great blocking to get him through? You kind of think maybe he can help make his own way if he's an actual running back yeah. instead of the holder? Yeah, I thought the same thing. Two and now on first down. Now, quick throw there is incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Two are going to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And well, he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Two and now on first down. A short throw there, that's to... And oh, it popped it up! But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. The Titans going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Two and a throw again. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 14. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. That's caught Waddle on the left side. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. From the nine, second and five. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. 
You still hold your breath a little when Tua gets out of the pocket, but there he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much, but it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half from the lefty to a tongue of Iowa. He connected on a touchdown pass in that first half, and that's a big part of why his guys lead at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And the half will begin with a touchback. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? And a busy night for Henry continues. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 77 yards on the ground now for Henry. He's got a first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. In this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Levis's throw pulled in by Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 46. Here's Levis. 
That's caught left side. It's Burks. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Off the play fake, Levis. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. We know he has a lot of confidence in his arm and likes to force it downfield, but the coverage was tight there. Fortunate it wasn't picked off. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Running from the gun with Henry. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of the tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Back to throw, it's Levis. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their three-point halftime lead gone now. Back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. It's Roger McCreary with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Now Folk for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins about set to go to work on offense. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better 
that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. Oh, what a move. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. 55 yards rushing for him now to this point. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4... You've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Seven yards there and a first down. Now Tua. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And with the struggles they've had putting points on the board, he's the one who's had the breakthrough, trying to find him again for another one to try and add to their total. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. We well, you know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And he is caught. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 22-yard line. 18 big yards on that one and a Miami first. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's second down. Tonga Bailoa working out of the gun. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And all the way down inside the five to the four. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. Here's Mostert, and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to loss of four, and it'll be second down. That was a terrific play, causing a loss as a middle linebacker simple. You can either fill holes, or you can attack them, as he did there. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Now Tua on the bootleg here. He's 
got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A seven-yard touchdown ground. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from drawing level. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody. But those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have you either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Sanders now to add the extra point. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. This taken in right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Titans getting set and ready to go here for their next drive. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. They begin with Henry. And just shedding him off there. That good for 22 and a first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Levis to throw it. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And yeah, they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 41. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. He'll get this down to the 38. From the 38 now, here's second down and seven. Levis back to throw. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense beat a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. They'll have very good starting field position here as they try to break our tie, and they start first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw in that play with a loss. On second down, Mostert. 
And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not gonna have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there, that brings up Ford. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Sanders' kick is good. And the Dolphins have come back now to regain the lead. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points in the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in a good spot, great place to run some of your best offense, Instead, they turned the ball over. Yeah, turned the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you either throw him the touchdown or you throw him the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. A first down carry for Henry. There's a nice move. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Henry again on second down, shedding through the defense. And this is going to be a Titans first down as good running gets him to about the 44. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Levis. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Brandon, you know I'm all about quarterbacks protecting themselves, but I have to admit it. I liked what I just saw there. That rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit. Now, you don't want to see him taking those shots all game long, but he picked up the first down, kept fighting for yards, and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving. A handoff running left, Henry. 
Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Levis sets up to throw here. This will go to Henry out wide. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line, he provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Tua sets up to pass it. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Two and now on first down. Gets this one to Hill. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. Great time there to come up with his longest run of the night we just saw. It. Leads to a lot of satisfaction because if they're able to hang on and win this game, you know what else will happen in the locker room after this? What's that? Head coaches step up and go, great job, guys. Because of that, come in a little bit later tomorrow. They're going to be stopped up on this first down run. He might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end, any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was. Because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. 
And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. The Dolphins on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and 10. Tua going to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. The field position game often so overlooked, but this offense is going to be backed up deep. What an ideal punt. And now this stage of the game when they need the drive to try and put themselves in a position to win it you talk about going the long field the very long field this could be a 99 yard drive if they're able to accomplish it levis from his own end zone on the slant deandre hopkins so the completion good for six yards and it'll be second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. On second down, here's Henry. Fights through him, powering his way forward. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Levis. And the Dolphins rush gets home, down he goes. Finally held down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't, and a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to end up with a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something <laughs> like that. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Looking for trailing Burks that time. And that takes us from second to third down. Levis looking to throw. That is incomplete. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be Dolphin football. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at the 20. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. 
He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. On play action, here's Tua. Another catch there for Waddle. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Here's a second and five. They'll run the draw with Mostert. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Third and three. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 31-yard line. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 31. From the gun, it's Tua. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. I'll tell you, as a defender, you've got to make life as difficult as possible when you're trying to cover a big tight end because you know his catch radius is huge. He's unable to pull that one in, though. Line of scrimmage, the 31, as they line up second and 10. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. That's going to be caught by Waddle. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. A run with Mostert up the middle. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Third and two, and they ran the ball for only one yard, and everybody's going to scream at the offense. But let's give a lot of credit to the defense on that play. Defensive front out leveraged the offensive line. They got more people to the football. Yeah, they won that battle in a big way, and they're forcing a big decision now by the guys on offense. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. He's got his target. That's complete. He will have the conversion and more than that. Touchdown! Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Titans now just about ready to take over. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit.
The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Bradley Chubb doing what he does best, getting that sack. Well, you could almost see his eyes light up defensively. I mean, as a linebacker, that's about as quick as you can get to a quarterback. So what did your third grade teacher teach you about straight lines, right? As soon as you have those, you take full advantage of them. He found a gap in the offensive line, got to the quarterback, and put him on the deck. Meanwhile, Levis' throw hauled in by Westbrook Aquina here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards there for number 15. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Back to throw, it's Levis. And that's complete to Westbrook Akine. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. They're giving those short little routes, tackled him in bounds too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. Here's Levis. That's complete downfield to Oconquo. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big pickup of 38. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Levis now on second down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And yeah, the Titans are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Levis to throw it. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Here now, second and goal. Levis, he'll look to throw it. On the out route, he's got Burks. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Levis. Buying time to his left. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Will Levis. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. Full connects on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. A little less than 90 seconds to go. This will be an onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. 
A tough one there. They certainly wanted that one. They needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Miami set to take over. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. Now second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And they will take a knee here. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead, that home field advantage. I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.